okay roll with me you guys so I came up with this idea I needed to put on some makeup I know it sounds really weird put on some makeup for actually another video but I decided to put on some makeup in general thought I might film it again but I want to try um, a little bit different of a look I've done this before and I really liked it um, but I had another concept which was maybe doing using brushes I don't normally use or like other products I don't normally use and then just see if I can make it work so that's my idea today let's try it um so the main focus today is going to be the comfort zone palette this is one of my favorites from wet n wild um, and what i want to try to do is do some of the duochrome over here and then with a little bit of the um the greens and stuff and kind of try that for a change because i don't do that very much um i've done it like once and it looked good but i haven't done it since i usually stick with kind of like reds golds and things so I was going to try that today so that's going to be the main objective but I also came up while I'm pulling all my products out with how would I use products I don't ever use and then we'll see if it's an ultimate fail or not and then if it's it is then I'll just wash it off and start over so one of the brushes that I found that I haven't really used a lot which I saw them online and everybody's like oh my god they're amazing so is this thing so <laughs> this okay preface this this is a cheap version okay so that could be some of the issue too but I found this and I wanted to try it out and then see if I can make it work with my foundation versus my normal which is just like this butchered uh brush um <laughs> so I don't even know what to call it and then I have like a smaller version too this one obviously I've used at least once and then here I have this contouring brush too that I bought just to experiment with and I've only done it once and it was I used a little bit of contour and then I kind of gave up on it. So I'm gonna try to use that maybe today for highlighter since it's going kind of in that direction too, but like maybe see how it looks versus just the normal way I do it with like a bigger fluffier brush. So there's that. And I'm giving us a little bit more light today because last time we didn't have enough light. So over here shining on the side of my face is a soft box. So heads up on that in case you're like, that looks way better lighting than it did last time. That's why. So. Some of the products are going to be the same though because I just don't have a ton of extra products. So, oh my gosh, we could use other products that I don't use all the time either. Ideas are coming to me. It's flashing. It's too fast. Okay, so, oh my gosh. I also have this foundation I don't use all the time. Oh, wow, okay. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix. So, preface this, sometimes I'll go to grocery outlet, I'll go there actually for food, and then find it'll be random like makeup products. I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks so cool. I'll try it since it's cheap and all. What's the problem? Anyway, so this one here, I've used it a few times and it works out okay. Sometimes I'll use it for like just to tidy up little areas. So let's use it for actual foundation today. We're just going at this crazy if it turns out really bad, I might have to redo it, to be honest, because I don't want to look like an idiot on my next video, but we're going to go for it. So we've got that. Oh, here I am again, forgetting steps. Okay, um, so I wanted to do some day cream first, that same one, the makeup time wise one, or Mary Kay time wise one. Okay, so we're going to put that in here. Um, you guys have to look at my next video trailer coming up here. I'm so excited. Um, you know, you guys know I'm pretty cheap on things. I don't like to spend that much money. Like, I mean, it seems like sometimes I do, but not all the time. Like, a lot of times I like to think things through if it's a big purchase. And this is a purchase I've been thinking about for a while. And I'm really excited about it. I'm so excited. I just bought it today. I just got back from doing that. You would have thought I wore makeup for that. I didn't. I was just like, oh my god, we need to get out of the house ASAP before something happens. Before More before George changes his mind because he's a cheapo too. So if he gets on board with something, we have to go then. Like that minute, not even 10 seconds later because he might change his mind and then we're both host. So it's a matter of convincing both of us to do what we want to do. Sorry, I have a ton on my hands. So my face is going to be really well covered here today but anyway so i'm so excited about that i can't tell you what we bought because obviously you have to watch the video but there will be an unboxing of this product i'm so excited and i'm a complete nerd for being this excited so sorry that was a little bit of a spoiler okay but whatever okay so we've got that on the face let's go into the baby skin pore eraser okay so again, we're using this stuff right here. This never focuses, so just work with me. Pretend you see what I'm saying. Um, and then it's like this little clear gel. Okay. 
to get that a second here. Sorry, I'm in this big hurry because I want to do this unboxing. So I'm like, we have to look good in a hurry. This never happens. Plus, last time you guys know, my video was like 30 minutes for that makeup one. And that was with me cropping a bunch of stuff. And it still took years, years to load. Okay, so I put that on there and then I just realized I wanted to, to do something else, which might be a hundred times more products than you should ever put on your face. But this is one that I tried once. I didn't really think I saw a difference. So I'm gonna try it again today. And it's the e.l.f. Um, Tone Adjusting Face Primer. After I just put primer on. Guys, seriously. <laughs> I completely forgot I was doing new products here. Okay, so we're gonna put those ones away so I don't look at them again. And my hand's a little dirty, so that didn't help either. Okay, so I, this is the consistency. I think this is what I had a problem with because it looks like I've got some like toothpaste on my hand. Anyway, I'm trying to put on some of these red patches because I feel like this is always the issue. And I have been doing some of my rosacea products, so hopefully it won't be as bad as the last time we did this video. So maybe the product will like be a little smoother on here. Cause that's the thing, I have rosacea on here and like I'm not always the best patient about being compliant with my medications. Cause I have to um, put on two creams at night and I'm just lazy and I forget. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in a hurry, time to go to bed. And then I think, okay, well, my skin's fine right now, so it's not that big of a deal. It's just red, but it's not, like, bumpy or, like, you know, dry or gross or anything. And then I'll, like, have a few days where I forget, and then I'm like, oh, no, it's back to being gross again. And then I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm that patient that I always complain about at work that is like, well, my eye's fine, so I don't need to wear that makeup, or I don't, or I don't need to do that product because it's fine now. I'm that person. And then I was like, I don't want to be that person because I complain about them. So then anyway it's a life struggle I'm like I don't want to be that person that I complain about so <laughs> then I talk myself into using the product again and then I do that for a while and then I go back to the same thing so life anyway lazy people life okay so this is the one here this is that um the Revlon um instant finish um photo ready thing and it looks like just a little stick there of shot or of a foundation now that i've got all this other gunk on my face we're gonna see if this even works okay and i might look off here for a minute i mean there's a lot of color going on here i don't know if it's the right color this is what happens when you buy things at grocery outlet you're like oh okay cool that's as close as that's gonna get should i have just not bought it probably but you know, it's like, it's a good deal and you get excited and you can't help yourself. I have this problem. That's why I say if it's like an expensive thing, I will think about it for like months and be like, oh no, but what are the advantages? What are the pros? What are the cons? What will the payment be? Should I do it? Oh my gosh, this is me for like months on a lot of things, but like, a random makeup product that's super cheap okay we're doing this okay so this like a, is a jacked up mess below that and i think i have weight <laughs> probably way too much on okay but we're gonna try to like buff this out okay so we're gonna use this little um brush here and then see if i can smooth this and i'm gonna be looking off from you for just a minute here and this color is not my color this may be why i stopped using this <laughs> i don't remember you know the brush is not doing too bad right now so maybe it was like just me like I'd prefer the way you know the handle is kind of like flat here and thin so maybe because because I'm falling apart you guys I also have carpal tunnel so maybe like some of the issue too is the fact that that's happening and this like this motion like trying to grasp this and hold it kind of bothers my wrist so I mean it could be a number of things that's another reason why too like I don't use beauty blenders on my whole face because I feel like that motion really hurts my wrist. Like, I don't know. I need to get serious about trying to do something about inflammation because I have so much of it in like my bones and stuff. It's really bad. Anyway, I'm just going on to you about random stuff here. I think it's in lieu of the fact that I don't have like music or anything. So I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. don't let it be just weird breathing in the background. Let it be me talking about random stuff. Okay, so I'm looking at myself in the mirror here. It doesn't look great, but I think I could fix it. 
just fix this neck situation. I mean, first off, new neck. I mean, that would be one thing, but I mean, as far as like radiation on that. Okay, I think if I put some powder on it, it'll be fine. I'm gonna go back to Old Faithful here, this Wet n Wild um, bronzer that I'm using as powder. So I will probably stick with the same brush just because I don't think I have a different brush that we could try that would be fun, okay? Oh no. Oh god, we're having a oh this is we're having a a break here. There's like makeup everywhere. Okay. I'm gonna test something out really quick, you guys, okay? I don't I don't know, maybe the soft light is like too much. Okay, well I'm gonna leave it off for now and then see how I feel about it. Whoa. I didn't blot enough. Okay, here we go. I'll try that too. I'm like, maybe I was just in too much of a hurry and I got carried away here, excuse me, and then maybe it just did not set up right. I didn't even do concealer, you guys. I like completely forgot the concealer. Okay, we're gonna have to go back with powder again. As I said, this happens like too much. Okay. This isn't, okay, I'm feeling like this isn't that bad. Like, I mean, I'm pretty caked right now. Like, you don't even know. Like, Tammy Faye who? That is what's going on right now. Um, just because I have so much product on my face. So that's my own fault. Um, but, well, actually, all oh, that's my own fault. But I feel like that's not bad, okay, for that little stick. I feel like I was able to blend it back out. The brush was not my favorite. I mean, it's not horrible. Okay, so... And, uh, okay, so got that. I'm going to go ahead and go in for the concealer under my eye, and then we'll deal with that afterward. But... And then again, this is that NYC cover stick again. The brushes, by the way, are all wish.com. I don't have like a fancy, uh, you know, brand or anything on them. If you just look on wish.com and then kind of look around, that's where you find them. Like one of them, ha a set I got has like the marble handles and that's just because I thought they were pretty, but they're still functional, so. Um, and you know, you guys would be so proud of me too. Like anybody who knows me, I have like, I was having a really serious wish.com problem. Um, and I haven't bought anything from them in like months, like since May, okay? So be proud of me, you guys, okay? I was like, I'm not even gonna go on here anymore unless I'm specifically looking for something because if I go on there just to look, it's gonna be a mess, I'm gonna buy something. And then I controlled myself and I feel really good about that. That's probably saved me a bunch of money too, <laughs> so. Oh, and then I'm using this beauty blender today because it's one that I don't like to use all the time because, of course, we're going in with products that we don't like to use or ones I am just have and I'm trying to kind of see how they work again. Okay. Okay. It's still not as good as my other one. Okay. Because my other one's more pointed and I feel like it's a little softer too. Maybe it's just because it's been used more. This one's like poo, 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 pounding me right in the eye there. Oh, well, that part's not as fun. I mean, see, like this motion here is not good for a freaking carpal tunnel. Like, don't recommend it if you're new to makeup and doing carpal tunnel. I have carpal tunnel like for long periods of time. I swear, if I did my whole face, I'd be freaking dead right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over it with some powder just to set it a little bit, and. Digging around. I have this brush that's kind of a little raggy looking right now. Um, let me. Sorry. Fix it so you can see it a little better. Nope, it's not gonna fix it because it's like no, I'm I'm on your face right now. That's where we're staying. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little brush here. This is another Wish.com brush that I purchased a while ago, so not new. Um, and then I'm just gonna put. Goodness, that looks so weird. Somehow I got like cat fur on the end of that. <sighs> Life of cats, okay. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of go under with this brush to 
maybe. Add that powder, but have it be a little more refined. And some other spots I wanted to tidy up. Okay. That's looking not that bad right now. I may need a little bit more makeup on this side of my face, so I just noticed that that's kind of a little red there. When I look in one mirror, it looks fine, and then when I look over here on the camera, I'm picking up that little bit of redness. Let me blend that out. I got my, I've got so many random brushes here. I just pulled out like all of them. I'm like, okay, I might need any help. There might be help from all brushes, all brushes to the stand here. Just always that little area and my nose is always so beat up on this how to get really bad dry skin there okay so got that um let's do some highlighter i'm thinking through the process i'm like what do i do next okay highlighter i'm gonna grab that puppy here and then we're gonna try that brush okay let me clean the brush off i'm just using that little egg thing again now this brush I bought separately, it wasn't part of a set, even though it kind of matches this actual set. Um, it just randomly, it was like a buck. Um, but it's supposed to be for contouring, but I'm going to try it today with the highlighter to see if I can pick up more in a swipe at a time versus just using the, um, whatever. <laughs> I can't even think right now. Um, and then while I'm over here thinking about it, I'm like, I should use something else for highlighter because we were just talking about new, using new products or products that I don't use all the time. Okay. What should I use? What should I use? That's blush. That's not it. Okay. Now that I cleaned that brush off, maybe, okay, I just found this and I haven't used it like maybe once. Okay, let's try this today. So this is the Mega Glow Makeup Stick Highlight. And it's in When the Nude Strikes. Oh, okay. So, I just put this on like this, I guess. I mean, I just have to bl blend this puppy out. Oh, my hair's all up and everything. And my hair looks like a mess like this all the time. So, I mean, maybe one day I'll do my hair for you guys, but... I mean, I just want it out of my face a lot of times. It is freaking too hot to be messing with hair, especially when it's long. Like, my hair right now is, like, pretty much down to my waist, maybe slightly higher than that. So I just don't feel like messing with it. It needs a cut. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> I look at certain angles, I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, my gosh, it's everywhere. And calm down. Stop putting it on. <laughs> I just gotta talk myself out of it. I'm like, more, more. Okay, I'm going to try to blend this out a little bit or like smooth it with this brush without taking all of my other makeup off. I was getting really crazy there, you guys. Like, no one even stopped me. I like that. No one even said, like, stop, Amanda, calm yourself. Uh, that's what highlighter does to people. You get shining and you just can't stop. It's crazy how like back in the day you wanted to be so mad and now it's like, oh, well, I want to be mad, but I also want to be shiny. I want to be everything. I want my dreams to be highlighted. Anyway, so that was a random moment. Anyway, but... I mean, this highlighter's not bad. I mean, it's smoothing out pretty decently, actually. I'm like not sure if I'm naturally oily glowy or am I like extra, extra glowy. Hmm. I feel like I need more light. Okay. No, I'm going to be calm. <laughs> We're going to be calm. Everybody don't panic. Okay. Dang. Okay. I think I will put way too much on, but I'm okay with it. I'm going to deal with it. Um, so next is the eyebrows. Um, and then brows. 
I'm like thinking to myself right now, I'm like, should I go and do it different than I was doing it before? Or should I keep it the same? Going in now, we're gonna use the same eyebrow pencil because the only two methods, sorry, let me down my nose, um, that I have is usually I do this pencil, which is new for me. And then I was doing before that, and you guys will like think this is a nut job thing to do, but I didn't really have any products and it worked for so long like that I didn't even care sometimes I'd probably go back to doing it so you have this like really <laughs> there goes that there's a little cheapy like NYC palette here and you see this one that's like been dug out that one I actually was putting on with this brow pencil I have a flatter brush there and then there was like this little spoolie end so I was using that and I would like just draw in my brows that way I would like spoolie them and then draw them in with this with just powder and it was actually working pretty well for a while and then I was like okay maybe I should upgrade this because I don't think anybody else is doing this I mean or if they were they stopped a long time ago okay and so I'm just I just sharpened that puppy up a little bit and then speaking of that let me do a little of this just kind of straighten them up a little bit after this you guys I'm getting a freaking drink of water it is so hot in here oh parched okay doing makeup such a hard job like can't tell if it's highlighter or sweat i don't it's just a mess in here okay meanwhile my camera's like giving me these weird messages i'm like are you still on canon canon you awake it still says recording so we're gonna hope for the best Uh, okay, let me do one thing really quick, okay? <laughs> this is a pause moment. I'm gonna text George really quick. I'm, I'm that person. Okay, in the middle of the video, I'm gonna text somebody. Okay. Um, I hope he can figure out that I'm filming, but I'm gonna text him really quick because, excuse me, I don't want him to come in here and be like, blah, 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 blah. You know, oh my gosh, it reminds me that that video you guys if you haven't seen it, you look up are the newscasters on like live tv and his kids break in and they're just like da, 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 da. and they're like walking in the room and the little girl walks in and then the baby in the little like walker thing walks in oh my gosh guys so again canon with your bitch ass camera that's not even an old camera it's a freaking new vlogger camera is acting up um so it just decided to cut off again i'm not sure if it's because it like the video gets too long so it just flips out and just cuts off i'm not really sure but annoying nonetheless because i was in the middle of my freaking story anyway um so if you haven't looked up <laughs> back to the story so if you haven't looked up um this video with this little kid running in um then you need to look it up because it's hilarious because the mom runs in and she gets the kid out and um or both the kids out of there but she's like hustling i don't know why that's, but i was like oh my god that would be george like i'd be doing the makeup store and i'm like get out get out <laughs> like why are you naked in the video anyway um you didn't hear that anyway so he has clothes on we just went out so um anyway so uh this one here this one's the mary k eye primer so i'm going on with that next i got my my other brow done while i was like chatting up a storm and nobody was freaking paying attention canon oh, gosh like i don't know what's up with this camera like i need this is gonna be an in george investigation because i'm not like super tech savvy here but i'm like why is it just cutting off like and then i don't realize it until it's too late like i've already talked like an extra five minutes and then i'm like oh shoot camera's not even on what a loser anyway better not do that later when i do my other video because i'm gonna be freaking pissed Anyway, I'm just doing this with my finger because I don't know a better way. <laughs> I mean, I could do a brush, I guess, but I just want to make it kind of smoothed out and I just want to be fast. We've got another video to do. Another video. Okay, that's a more fun video than this. I mean, this is fun and all. I mean, I like playing with makeup, y'all. And this is a really cool idea I just came up with in like the last five seconds, you know, about doing these other products. So that's pretty cool. Um, but all right. So I got the primer on. Um, I'm just making sure I've got everything in my mind. 
um that's kind of a problem so some of it's missing because that's my mind in general um but i have okay it's got my brows on i've got some highlighter on i've got some powder on i got the foundation on okay primed okay next step we're gonna go into the eyeshadow and i'm trying to think of how i want to do this let me clean my brushes while i'm thinking um, it comes with, you know what I love about Wet n Wild? I'm just going to go on a love rant um, because I love the fact that they mark things, especially for like stupid people like me that don't do makeup all the time, when they're like, okay, put this here. It's like color by numbers. Love it. <laughs> like, or paint by numbers. That's what they need to do for simple people like me that don't do makeup. Now put this here. Like, thank you. I needed that help. So... It's written on the palette where to put stuff and for being cheap and them instructing you, I feel like that's really worth it. And I appreciate them for that. That's why I bought all their products. So anyway, that was my little love rant. So the next one, as you can see, these ones like aren't as uh, aren't as loved over here. Um, but this one's really cool because it's duochrome and I didn't really know anything about duochrome until I saw this and I was like, what? What is this? Anyway, blew my mind because it's so pretty, but I just don't well first off I don't wear makeup that much and then second off I tend to go with the same thing over and all over and over again so I'm gonna bust out this today because you can see these are really well loved over here um but so we're gonna do the highlighted one first which is this like silvery color here so I'm gonna go in there with this little flatty eyeshadow brush and I see so many people doing this palette online because it's just such a nice palette. Like, I mean, you're not paying a lot of money. You're getting freaking eight shadows and they're really pigmented and pretty. So sorry I'm looking at you so intensely. <gasps> this one I have not done anything with in a while. So I'm like, is this coming out? Okay, I'm seeing it over here in the back mirror. When I look at you guys, you guys are coming out a little lighter. So it's kind of hard to tell. And wow, that's starting to look dark in this background camera here. Meanwhile, I'm like, put more on. Kill it. Wipe it down. <laughs> so this is going to be kind of a weird look today, but this is going to be my tech look. <laughs> so. Okay, that was too many spoilers. I need to shut up. I'm not good at secrets, apparently. Anyway, okay, shut up. <laughs> No more unboxing secrets. Okay. You won't make me talk. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Crazy gray. All right. Next step. Let's go in with this green. Boy, this is going to be a mess. Okay. So this green, you're supposed to go all over your eyelid with this green. Now my eyes are already green. So let's just hope it makes them pop. And that would be really nice. Okay. Okay. Needed some side effect music. Okay. I mean, I haven't done green in so long, you guys. I only remember when I did this palette last, I don't even know what I did. I might have used, like, some of the other colors on the other side with the blue. Because I was a little intense to, uh, <laughs> worried about the green aspect. I mean, the green's not looking bad. I mean, it looks kind of crazy with my outfit right now because I'm wearing red. That's kind of a little weird, but, you know. You do you, boo, you know? I could always change into like some pajamas later. <laughs> I don't know. Change into something that matches the green better. Okay. And I'm just having fallout like crazy. And some of that's probably me because I'm not good at like remembering to tap and <laughs> and stuff that you're supposed to do as a beauty guru, okay? I forget and then I just go in here and I'm all like blah 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 blah. Just put it on my eye, be done already. Because that's my theory about makeup. I'm like, let's just put it on my face and be done. I want to get out of the room. I got shit to do. But. Okay. Alright, I'm looking at myself in the back mirror. Okay, not bad there. I might need a little bit. Here. Sorry with the weird sound effects. I can't help it. It's like pew, 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 pew. Okay. Alright, next. Let me do a, a quick brush here. I'm gonna clean up all this crap I left all over my face. And the here and around. And then do like if I want an extra crease. Because the crease color I don't always like. I put a little bit there. I mean that seems opposite of what you're supposed to do. But I don't know. This duochrome I like better. So I want to use more of it. I don't want to use less of it. Because I mean if you look at it. 
look at this duochrome versus just a sparkly green. The sparkly green's not killing it. It's like just okay. This duochrome though, fancy. That's where you want to go. I want to go fancy. Or maybe it just doesn't matter. I mean, they're both dark colors. So as long as maybe you're just using one, you're not getting extra crazy, just using all of them. I mean, maybe that's the only part that matters. Okay, I might use an extra mirror here. You know, it's getting crazy when you have three mirrors going on here. Okay, and I did not pick up enough product. Or I just can't see it. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're getting somewhere now. Wasn't using the good part of the brush or something. Put the makeup on one side and then use the other side. I don't know. Okay. Mm. Okay, so the green <laughs> really shouldn't be with this blue. Um, but that's okay. We're going to make them friends because I want this blue on there. And it's already on there. So we're gonna make them friends. We're gonna work it out. They just need to take some like classes together and they'll like each other. I, I, I'm pretty confident. I think they've got room to be friends. I mean, they're a little, little opposite. You know, they're just, they've got different stories, but I think they could be friends. I don't know, I had to give them backstories, but you guys know what I mean. It's just, they're not, they're not looking blended right now. This one's looking really blue, which I kind of like the blue better and I feel bad about it because I like green, but that blue is really shiny and I like that. Okay, let's see if I can make them kind of match. And then we're gonna try to blend this out so it looks like a little less fluffy, okay. <laughs> That's me trying to make expressions. <laughs> okay. This one side looks so good. I don't know what I did different, but the blue is just popping way more on this side. Versus this one, okay. Maybe it's just the brown of the duochrome is showing better. Oh my god, it is such a mess over here, you guys. I'm just like putting it all over the place. Okay. Okay, I gotta fix this. But I think it's got potential. I think they can be friends. I think we can fix it. Okay, um, so big hope. Big hope we can fix it. Okay, fluffy brush. Let me clean you off, fluffy brush. And fluffy brush, do your magic. Okay, I'm not hating it, okay? I'm gonna say that in advance. But, and I mean, this is like a whole situation here, but, so we're gonna ignore that. But, I feel like the blue is getting kind of bombarded when I go over with my fluffy brush. Then the brown shows, which is fine because the brown and the green go together. But I'm losing that pretty blue, and that's pretty sad because I like that. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, I'm losing that shine, you know? Like, that blue is so shiny. Oh, maybe they were right. Maybe they were supposed to only be in the defining area. Oh, okay. When well, do you what? You're trying not to stir me wrong, and I'm already off. I'm off course. Okay. So I'm gonna try to clean this again, and then I wanna get in there with... I don't know what that is, okay. Um, so I wanna get in there with a little bit more of this green, and maybe I can try to like fix some areas that got a little, a little too brown. And then just kind of blend it over, okay. Cause I don't want to lose the green either. I don't want it to be a glob of brown. I'm trying to like have it have some personality here. But I feel like I went went in hard, thinking I was gonna get all this blue, and the blue just washed right away. The blue just gave up. It went home through in the towel. Okay. Underneath this eye is a mess. 
this you know what when I went to get my makeup done at for my wedding the guy was just like so good at makeup it blew my mind and he was like you just always do your eyes first <sighs> did I listen no I go in here thinking I know more even though he did an amazing job like my profile photo guys check it out that was me with wedding makeup that was when I did my little test for it <sighs> it was amazing and it was simple it was simple makeup that just I looked bomb in it and then I didn't believe him. And then you have situations like this pop up where the whole freaking eyeshadow palette's up on your eyeball because you were like, <laughs> okay, let's try to fix it though. Let's not cry about it. Let's just try to find some way to rectify the situation. Okay, so we're gonna get in here with this fluffy brush. We're gonna see if I can get the loose kind off of there. It might be smearing it around and we'll deal with that at the time. Okay, so. <laughs> what should we do? Okay. Mm, uh. Whoa. Whoa. What? What is this? Whoa. Whoa. What? What? What is this? What? What? Where the hell did that come from? Why? Okay. Does it just look weird in the mirror? Is that my face? Oh my god, my face is falling off. Okay. Alright, nobody panic. Everybody stay calm. Okay, we're gonna put more foundation on. I'm just gonna freaking fix it. Okay, uh, oh my god, my face is falling off. Okay. <sighs> be calm, be calm, be calm. Okay. Like when you're trying to be in a hurry and then you keep screwing up. I'm not gonna say bad words. Anyway, and you keep messing up and then trying to fix it. And it's just not working. Okay. So, okay. 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 I'm not sure if I like it or not. <laughs> I'm adapting, okay? I may like it. I may like this little darker, kind of greenish brown thing I'm working right now. Because, I mean, the green eyes are there. Um, and it kind of works because I was going to use another product that I don't use all the time. My CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara in Brown Blaze brown with the gr oh my god things are just coming together things are just coming together so well <sighs> okay it's okay it's great we're making this work okay um i don't think i need to do too much more tidying up under the eye area that was the only issue let's go into the mascara and i think we'll be done i mean i could try a lipstick just to be fancy we'll see I'm gonna try a lipstick just to be fancy. I don't have a bunch of lipsticks, so um, bear with me here. Like, I think this is probably, I have maybe like 12, which sounds like a lot, but you know, if you're like a real makeup y person, it's really not that much. Okay, that doesn't, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I have a bunch of nudes here. <laughs> huh? That one looks terrible on camera. That looks like poo. In real life, it's a little pink. Just heads up on that. <laughs> Looks bad too. These both look bad. They're supposed to be pretty nudes. With them. These look gross. Okay. This one might win. No. One like that. that one's too pink. No. Too nude. <gasps> too nude. It doesn't look good on camera. I think this one's the only one that kind of looks good on camera. I might use this in a minute, okay? So we'll put this aside. This one is um, just so it's Magical Halo Long Lasting Matte Lip Gloss in number 90 um helpful so it's kind of like a purpley nude if that exists um so that's what that is and that one's from wish.com too is like i have a lot of like random wish.com products oh, one more thing oh oh no 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 okay too much i'm gonna use the other one and it'll probably wear off in like a little bit and this brush is kind of trippy too, like it looks like a little hourglass figure. 
You can't see it that well, but it's a little hourglass figure. Okay, this one's taking me a little bit longer. I'm trying to be more careful because, you know, in the past, like last video, my eyelashes were clumping together. So, and they're kind of doing it now, but it's on the opposite eye. Ugh. Okay. They, I don't know, for some reason my lashes are like, I like you let's hang out let's just be friends but they're hanging out too close you can do that at night get a room you're like on top of each other oh, okay you're way too close okay the more I try to pull them apart the I mean, I mean, a love story is forming here in these eyelashes. I mean, you guys can be friends later. Stop being friends now. Okay. Oh, let me get it back to being focused to a camera. Okay. You see how, like, you have some here that are, like, clumpy and clumpy? This one, smooth for them all. It's the same mascara. I don't want to... Okay, and this is gonna happen just like it did in the last video where I put way too much on and then they're gonna probably look worse. I'm trying not to put more product on the brush, but just try to like, move them over a little bit. Okay. All right, well, we're just, we're just gonna make, seriously, the camera cut off again. Okay, well luckily I'm almost done this time. Getting really sick of your crap, Cannon. I like it, you're doing this when I'm not paying attention to you. I'm like just paying attention to what I'm doing. And then you decide to cut off. I find that pretty interesting. That's going on your ratings. If you have a Yelp, you're getting it. Okay. So, I'm just going to get another Q-tip here. I need to refill my Q-tip bin. Like, this is how many Q-tips I go through at a time. And the only reason I'm doing this is because just I splattered a little bit of mascara in here. Luckily, we're almost done, as I said. So, okay. I think we're getting there, you guys. Okay. I think it's coming out pretty good. I'm surprised considering it's products I really don't use that much. Okay, oh, the battery's almost dead, that's why. Okay, uh, uh, lipstick, okay, uh, where did the lipstick go? Okay, here's the lipstick. I'm not good at lipstick. Okay, fair warning, okay. We got a hustle, the battery's gonna die. Then I'll have to get a new battery. And this is what it looks like. And they're already blooped. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. Here's the makeup look on each eye there. Um, so the brown lashes I love. Eyebrows looking okay. The um, makeup itself on the eyelid, I think I would have just done a lighter shade maybe toward the brow because I feel like it, the silver looked a little much to me. Um, but that's kind of how they wanted to present it. Um, so hopefully you guys can get an idea what that makeup look looks like. Um, overall, I didn't think it looked too bad. Um, so just a little bit, a little bit here and there. I felt like it was a little too dark. One story here, it took me forever to get 
sorry, I keep looking up at the screen. Okay, stop it. Stop looking at the screen. Okay, so it took me forever to get that lipstick off, you guys. I was putting, like, everything I could on my eyes, like, just, I mean, on my eyes, on my lips, like, just soap and water. I was doing my makeup remover, everything I could, and it took forever. So right now, they're still a little pinkish from rubbing them to death. Um, so <laughs> not the best. If you like this content, feel free to subscribe down below and thanks for watching.